The study titled The State of Media Freedom and Rights in Uganda analyzed the enjoyment of civil liberties by interviewing media practitioners, the police and civil society organizations. The research was carried out by Makerere University Law Professor Frederick Juku. Professor Juku says the findings show that media freedom is limited in Uganda despite the significant growth in the number of media houses. When many of those laws were cut down, then the authorities resorted to beating up journalists and damaging their equipment. And they used general of extra legal strategies by the state to deal with the media if you deprive them of the legal means. The study castigates government agencies mandated to control the media for serving the interest of the ruling NRM party. Th that argument ca can arise, maybe you can debate it where you have democratic state. Right? We don't have a democratic state in Uganda. So th that question of state regulation does not arise. Professor Juku says journalists should be the one to draft media laws and ethics. He also says the requirement for the mandatory registration of journalists and professional qualification that was recommended by the government last year is counterproductive to freedom of expression. And if you are to, uh, to require a license or college degrees to exercise a fundamental right, you'll be curtailing that right and justifiably. No government official was immediately available for comment. But a court of appeal judge called on the media to act responsibly. And when the police is tear gassing you and beating you, the, 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 the public doesn't quite care because they, 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 you are not quite with them. The report also attributes the poor quality of journalism in some media houses to low pay and difficult working conditions. Poor conditions of work have, have an impact on the ability to organize as labor and of course on the integrity of uh, journalists. You see those brown envelopes and stuff, you know, we heard about them. The study was commissioned by two non-governmental organizations that advocate for social change, the International Governance Alliance and Open Society Initiative for East Africa. We believe that media freedom goes beyond the journalist as a profession to contribute to public participation and debate so that each and every individual has a stake in the governance of this country. The findings have been released ahead of the election period that relies heavily on independent reporting by the media. Moses Akena, NTV. Are you through? No. no.